The Maillard Reaction Why Browning Tastes Good This will completely blow your mind about the Maillard Reaction. It's not just browning, it's a complex chemical fireworks display between sugars and amino acids that generates hundreds of flavor and aroma compounds responsible for the irresistible taste of seared steaks, toasted bread, and roasted coffee. Everyone thinks browning is just color, but here's what's truly wild. The Maillard reaction produces tens of distinct heterocyclic compounds, including pyrazines, nutty roasted aromas, furans, sweet caramel notes, and thiophenes, sulfur-rich meaty scents, all within seconds once food surface exceeds 140 degrees Celsius. Here's the mind-blowing part. This reaction proceeds in three stages. Early stage, sugar amino condensation forms amidori rearrangement products in milliseconds. Intermediate stage, A-decarbonyls yield strecker aldehydes, malty, nutty aromas, and furans, caramel-like scent. Final stage, Polymerization of reactive intermediates produces melanoidins, the brown pigments also contributing antioxidant properties. Think about this incredible process. According to the Arrhenius approximation, the Maillard rate constant, K, depends on activation energy, Ea, and temperature. Ea ranges from 109 to 145 kJa mol1 for common sugar amino systems, making the reaction three times faster when cooking at 180 degrees Celsius versus 120 degrees Celsius. But here's where it gets absolutely insane. The Maillard reaction has an optimal temperature window. It's sluggish below 115 degrees Celsius, accelerates rapidly between 100 and 3165 degrees Celsius, then halts above 180 degrees Celsius when pyrolysis, burning, takes over, producing bitter, charred compounds instead of delicious browning. And here's what's truly wild about pH and water. An alkaline pH, approximately 8, can double the reaction rate versus neutral, while a water activity, A underscore W around 0.6 0.8 maximizes Maillard flavor formation, too moist or too dry, and the reaction stalls, explaining why syrups and high moisture stews brown less than roasted nuts or seared meats. The most incredible part? Tailoring flavors is possible by selecting specific amino acids. Cysteine yields sulfurous meaty notes, lysine drives sweet caramel aromas, and glycine produces malty, toasty scents, allowing chefs and food scientists to engineer custom flavor profiles through ingredient choice and cooking conditions. Mind blown? Drop a emoji if you never realized that the golden crust on your bread or the sear on your steak is a masterclass in chemistry, because the Maillard reaction